This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Happy Friday, people. It was a fun one on the show this week. I want an Italian sausage every day of the week. Out of context, Kate. We had Hollywood heavy hitter Jack Black in the studio and the guys presented him with a music challenge. Jack Black can play any instrument. The Roctopus. The Roctopus. Oh, it's a squeezy instrument. It's, <laughs> it's good. He's nailed it. Wow. <laughs> Jack Black. Oh, look uh-huh. at that. Mom, oh, draw. The octopus drop. I dropped the puss. <laughs> Richie and Troy Casadaly were on the hit TV show It Takes Two. And this week was the 18th anniversary. So Troy decided to surprise Kate live on air. Hand Kate Richie the oh, microphone. I'm not singing. Yes, what are you doing Hello. here? We've been talking about Jackson ever since the fire went out. I'm going to Jackson. <laughs> Ain't never coming back. And things got a little emotional when Kate reflected on Troy's absence at her wedding. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> when I got married in 2010... Oh, yes, yes. Troy couldn't make the wedding, and so... Um, uh, <laughs> Stuart and I wanted Troy and Laurel to be at the wedding, but yeah. they couldn't make it, and we wanted him to play, and yeah. instead of... Playing. You know what happened? We were living in Nashville and I'll just do a little chorus and all it is is just um As the years go by I promise to make the most of every day with you I'm gonna make the most of every day with you Oh Troy Cassidy hey. That was amazing. Oh, guys, I'm not crying, you're crying. I'm only crying so we don't have to do yesterday. (laughs) Yesterday. Fitzy then picked the mood back up with this bit of audio that he found. The first time you won your gold Logie, you were quite nervous for your speech, weren't you? Yeah, which one? You've spoken about this, your second gold Logie, and you were a lot more relaxed. The real Kate Ritchie came out. Oh, the Campbelltown Kate Ritchie. You haven't heard this for a while, have you? Have a listen to Kate. Here we go. I did swear. What an honour to receive this award from Burton Newton to start. Um, The only reason I'm disappointed about winning is that I won't get to hear Chris Lilly's acceptance speech. Over the last few weeks I've done so many interviews about how perfect it would be to win. Like, wouldn't it be great to win the gold Logie just to end it all? I was so overwhelmed. I don't there's, even remember there's swearing. There's the Campbelltown girl. <laughs> oh, my God, that is extraordinary. You punched out Lynn McGrain. Oh. <laughs> Everybody was Aussie F1 superstar Daniel Ricciardo was on the show this week, and he's also an expert in the shoey. Who's the biggest celebrity that you've seen do a shoey? Over the years, they'll get actors yep. present like the trophies. Gerard Butler was one of them. Sir Patrick Stewart yes. was another. He actually asked for it, which was Did the he? weirdest. Can I have a shoey? Yeah. <laughs> Someone who's been knighted wanted yeah. a shoey. And I was like, this is this has got oh. too far. <laughs> We had a brand new segment this week. Firstborn versus secondborn. This is where you look at the first child being perfect and the second child not so much. So my firstborn, Houston, decided to ask his brother to play Yahtzee with him mm-hmm. and the secondborn stabbed him in the leg with a pencil because he was losing at Yahtzee. <laughs> Classic secondborn. And we had people calling in telling us their stories. Firstborn, yep. academic excellence. Secondborn started school, put a set of craft eyes inside his ears and told his mum he was trying to work out what was going on inside his head. (laughs) Our eldest got an award for diligence. Of course. And that same afternoon, I went to preschool to pick up our three-year-old and the daycare teacher said to me, yeah, your son said F and hell to us today. (laughs) A three-year-old? Yeah. Well, where is he getting that from, well, Louise? The, the food is pretty bad at daycare. Well, sorry, I'm going to put my husband in the now. Um, yeah. Oh, well, you've just sworn again, Louise. <laughs> <laughs>
Kate's mum is a surprisingly big fan of Michael Bublé. She said, is, is Michael Bublé on the show? I said, oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, just a lineup of stars. You've done that desperate, mum. You're and one's in the kitchen with your mum, <laughs> if you haven't forgotten. <laughs> the biggest is right here, right now. And I'm feeling good. Speaking of stars, he hangs with all of the Canadian celebrities. Like Ryan Reynolds, Ryan Gosling, all the Ryan. <laughs> all the Ryan. All the Chads. Chad Michael Murray, Chad Stroger. What about Justin yeah. Bieber? I was just with Justin. But there's one name he can't seem to quite get right. Chad Kroger, yeah. Nickelback, fellow Canadian legend. He called me like last week, out of nothing. Yeah. And he goes, uh, hey, Buble. And I go, what's up? And he goes, what's my name? And I go... What? Huh? He goes, what's my name? And I go, it's Chad Kruger. And he goes, it's Kroger. It's Kroger. God damn it. He says, I've heard you do like it, and you kept saying Kruger. And I was like, my name is Michael Bublé. Bublé? Yeah. I was like, of all the people that you're going to call and destroy because they messed up your name, mm-hmm. no one has ever got my name right. <laughs> Hamish and Andy were in the studio, but it seems their stories weren't that interesting to Kate. Why was the local vet there at half time? The team mascot was a pig. I wasn't listening to any of that stuff. Thank you. But I am sitting here imagining how great it would be if the vet had you on the trestle table sewing your lips up. Because you didn't like the story. (laughs) So you would stop talking for one moment, (laughs) though. SAS Australia tough man Ant Middleton was in and he told us all about a terrifying three-day interrogation he went through. All I ate, and this is no word of a lie, was a slice of bread that I managed to find in a barn and before I even got caught, I was hallucinating and... You know, wow. Yeah, your mind just plays tricks on you. It but wasn't that's... a music festival, this was a proper interrogation? No, or... this was at a music festival. <laughs> I saw you there as well. Well, you would have. It was DEFCON. I didn't know where I was. I was hallucinating. I'd only been there for two hours. (laughs) Those damn magic mushrooms. (laughs) What a week it was. Hamish and Andy, got any last words? Mm -hmm. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you so much. Tommy. Tommy. Can you get, no, Tommy, can you get them out? <laughs> All right. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you guys next week. Fits in Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, download the Nova Player via the App Store or Google Play. The Nova Player.